So if you're an El Capitan user, and why would you be using El Capitan in this day and age, in the year 2021? Well, maybe you're selling your Mac. Maybe you just want to take it back to an older version and run some older software, and maybe you're using El Capitan as a stepping stone for a later version of Mac OS. Maybe your Mac has no operating system right now, and the only one you can get is El Capitan when you boot with Shift Option Command R. So for whatever the reason, if you're using Internet Recovery Mode, again, Shift Option Command R, to get your operating system, there's a problem, and that is there's a built-in expiry date, and the error message has nothing to do with a date. So it's kind of confusing. We'll show you how to get around that very easily. And uh, there's a better way still, if you like. There's a link in the description of this video. You can download El Capitan without the expiry date. Use that installer to create an external USB installer and install from that to your heart's content without having to worry about setting the, the year back in time and disconnecting from the internet. All this, these things we'll cover. Um, but if that's too inconvenient or you don't have an external USB device or, you know, your, your machine's sitting there with no OS on it, then it's not an option for you. So keep watching. So um, I'm going to make some assumptions in this video. Number one, that you have backed up everything you care about on this machine. Or if you're just reinstalling the OS, what we call a dirty install, that, you know, you're aware of the risks. Right. Um, so uh, we'll start from, you know, where I typically start is right from the error message and we'll cover how to get around it. And, uh, you know, I've already covered this before a couple of times and I just wanted to make sure it was still there. I mean, I told Apple about this problem back in May of 2020. And I followed up a couple of months later and they still haven't fixed it. I don't know why. Because one of their installers, as we know, doesn't have the expiry date anymore. Uh, but the one on the Internet Recovery Server Farm does. So when you go Shift Option Command R, uh, you're going to get that failure every single time unless you're maybe on a school network or some really high speed network. When I try this uh, at the college I work for, uh, I don't see the problem, but the internet there is so fast that perhaps the, uh, the system didn't have time to try and sync up the clock and realize, hey, you know, uh, our software is expired. <laughs> I will cover the, the difficulties you're likely to experience, and uh, I would make some recommendations. Number one, if you have it, use a wired keyboard and mouse for this. Wireless it can be very challenging. Um, you know, uh, startup keys in particular, when you're trying to do things like zap the parameter RAM, holding down command option PR while booting. If your wireless keyboard is not connected, Mac's not going to see those startup keys and that process won't happen and then you're kind of stuck. So even if you have to borrow a Windows keyboard, do that. Just realize that on Windows, uh, the Alt key is the Option key, and the Windows key is the Command key. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Here is the dreaded message you might get if you're trying to install El Capitan. And to get around this, we're going to reboot and zap the PRAM by holding down command option PR till we hear an extra chime, an extra startup chime. And then we're gonna quickly switch to command S for single user mode. So I'm gonna click restart. I'm holding command option PR. So I had a very faint chime. Now I should hear a louder chime. There it is. Now command S, single user mode. There it is, as soon as you see the white text on black. And then here we have a command prompt and we can start typing in the date command. So I'm gonna go date, 
let's see, one, two, 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 eighteen hundred hours, and then two zero one five. How's that? December twenty second. Of course, the phone has to ring. All right, so if you get a message here, you can just hit return a couple of times till you have a prompt again. So if we type in the date command by itself, we can confirm that yes, we've set the date to December 22nd, the year 2015. And uh, now what we need to do is disconnect the internet. So zapping the PRAM should cause the uh, the Wi-Fi credentials to be uncached or blown away. And now I've just disconnected the Ethernet port. I'm going to type exit and allow the boot to continue, which will allow the installer to actually do its job after a bunch of gobbledygook goes flying past here. So we just wait for this to happen. And uh, then we just wait for the install to complete. So phase one of the install is already done, and that's the download phase. Phase two, we're actually booting from resources on the target drive. And that's where we are right now. But we have to have the date back in the year 2015 or so for El Capitan to successfully install because this particular version stored on Apple's internet recovery server has still got an expiry date. So you see there's the installer. Uh, we've already done the date, but if you couldn't get into single user mode, you could go up here to the utilities menu and do the same thing in terminal. See the Wi-Fi credentials are, are gone, so we don't have an internet connection. I'm just going to continue, continue, agree, find the drive. Where is it? There it is and then continue and away it goes so this is kind of a uh, an update to a video just to make sure that everything is still working so uh, before I started the recording I, I booted up with shift option command R which took a long time went into disk utility erased the drive and use the defaults and the default name Macintosh HD and then uh, I quit out of disk utility and launched the installer and then I waited a couple of hours until that error message came up that you saw and now I'm recovering from the error so now we're actually doing the install and once it's done we can reconnect our internet or turn the Wi-Fi back on or re-enter the Wi-Fi credentials and then because you know you, you need to be uh, to have the correct date and time in your computer to connect to the internet successfully, and uh, life goes on. So that's how you solve the El Capitan expiry date problem. So seven minutes remaining, and when once this is done, we can reconnect and everything will be fine. But if you connect too early, it'll sync up the clock again. And you can't just come up here and turn the Wi-Fi off because it'll automatically turn it back on again and try to sync the clock automatically. It'll do this and it may do this at any time and you have no control over it. So if you haven't blown away those cache credentials with uh, the PRAM zap, which is command option PR while booting, uh, the only other thing you could do is, is turn your, your router off or change that password for the Wi-Fi so that the credentials don't work anymore or move further away from the router so you can't get a connection. <laughs> Some people have done that as well if you have a laptop. I'm doing this on a Mac Pro 2013 uh, which happens to give me El Capitan when I do Shift Option Command R. Right? Okay, our install is done. It's going to restart, and now I can re-plug in our Ethernet connector. And it will sync the clock up during the boot process. Okay, so a new interface has been detected. I can't deal with that now. I have to click Cancel. Pick your country. Pick your keyboard.
those are all my external uh, volumes. So then I'll just set up my Mac and uh, you know, as you can see from the clock here, it knows it's 2021 and the clock is synced back up automatically during the boot process because I replugged in the ethernet. Now, if I was on Wi-Fi, I would just do the same thing here. Get into the Wi-Fi, pick a network and uh, plug in the password. So that's basically all there is to it. Uh, to solve this big problem. Thanks for watching. Fade out.